I expect they might be listening. <laughs> I would guess they are. Larson Logano side by side. Larson jumps out front on the restart. Look at that big run by Justin Algar. Oh, and they look like they're together, yes. Another caution going to come out here, I do believe. That's the 0-1. Nope, he keeps it straight, and I think we're going to stay green. Oh, uh, the caution Nope, flies. there it is. Whew. So close for the 0-1 of Vinnie Miller. Yeah, that's just going to be well, tough for these guys to find enough room to keep from running over each other. I think as NASCAR, you got to be real careful, too. When someone goes sideways on a restart, and likely some debris on track because of the damage on the right front for the 0-1. Yeah, this is definitely another setback for the 88 and the one car who are just desperately trying to get some track position and get back up there from that penalty earlier on. Uh, but yeah, here's a big piece of debris, definitely a good reason for a caution. And, and we'll see what happened here, but to your point, we're now gonna be down to seven, eight laps to go when we get the restart. I think Josh Williams, I saw was a part maybe. Yep, that's him in the bright orange car. Yeah, and he didn't, he was getting pushed from behind. I think it maybe veered him over to the left a little bit. Mm -hmm. The two of Matt Tift right behind him. Those cars got together and Vinnie Miller wound up with the short end of the stick. Solid run for Miller, competitive. Just, You're just not expecting to be four wide, are you, this right after the restart? Brad, you talked about Joey and those guys in the back. All, uh, people are just frustrated whether you're in the front or the back. You want to race right now. 